I heard someone shout out there everything, and it's I, I don't know any other word to use other than that. Um, I think it's a tournament that we've circled on our calendar for since you know probably junior golf, but um, ever since been on PJ Tour, this is one that we want to do as well as we can in, and the crowd support was the most unbelievable thing I've probably ever experienced in my life. Um, to kind of break that curse, if you want to call it, is uh, I'm pretty speechless. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't think it's going to sink in for quite some time, what, uh, what happened today. Now, that was Nick Taylor, uh, the man who just won the RBC Canadian Open uh, right after making that massive putt, the 72-footer, 73-footer, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but it was a big eagle to win the tournament. James Sharma, Justin Pooney, Albert Vartanian. So, uh, obviously, a lot of credit to Nick Taylor getting it done on home soil. Right after that was done on social media, on Twitter, all the talk was where does this rank in terms of Canadian sports moments? Some like put it at the top, which yeah. is kind of crazy to think. And I'll go through some of the list here. But initially, where do you think that ranks? Yeah, I think emotion takes over, right? Straight away. Because yeah. I mean, everyone's buzzing from seeing that. It's yeah. incredible, right? And let's take nothing away from what he accomplished and, and to do it the way he did it, right? 72 foot. I mean, that's just his longest part in his career, right? That's ridiculous. But. Listen, Canada's had some pretty special sporting moments yeah. on the biggest stage, right? With respect to the RBC Canadian Open, it's not the biggest stage, right? It's not a major. No. Right? And again, it's taking nothing away from what happened. It's incredible. It doesn't always have to be number one. <laughs> yeah. Right? No, you're right. And we'll Absolutely. get to that later. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> sports fans. Is, is it really the, even the best Canadian golf moment? Isn't Mike Weir winning the Masters? I think it's bigger. Well, I got two. I got Mike Weir winning the Masters in a playoff 2003 yeah. and Brooke Henderson winning her first major yeah. at 18 years old. Yeah. You know, sure. I think those leapfrog this Nick Taylor moment. I mean, yeah, I mean, had he not won it with a 72-foot putt, yeah. it'd be a great moment. clearly below those two. Yeah. Well, it's because he ended the drought, and I think it's because it's on Canadian soil. So maybe yeah. we have to look at it that way. Maybe biggest moments on Canadian soil, then you're thinking about Sid at the Olympics with the golden goal. Yeah. Donovan Bailey gets Ben Johnson when they did that race, remember? Was but that, that wasn't no, on was, Canadian soil. Was it Ben Johnson? Ben what? Johnson, he Donovan oh, no, Bailey, no, John, uh, Michael, Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. Yeah, but that was Sorry. an exhibition. Yeah, and Michael Johnson blew his hammy. Yeah, so he so said. yeah, he, he didn't blow smashed it. He didn't, yeah, he didn't blow Donovan his hammy. had that. He had Michael <laughs> in his I've, pocket. I've pulled that at beer league soccer before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, it's anyone because he, he can't breathe anymore. You <laughs> know, you can't beat. chase down no, the winger. No. Sorry. Yeah, so I mean, listen, there, there's always talk about the greatest this, the greatest that. It's an important moment, and I don't want to, you know, belittle what just happened. It's very important, but I think when you, when you, yeah, when you consider everything. Ending the drought on home soil, how it was done, it is a massive sports moment for yeah, Canada. I, I think uh, my, my, uh, Steve Simmons wrote in The Sun about this, saying it was maybe the most exciting, or one oh. of the most exciting because of how he, how he did it. You don't win, yeah, you don't win tournaments very often yeah. with that kind of putt, right? Mm -hmm. And no one saw it coming. No one expected that to go in. So you're, you're watching that putt, and you're not thinking, oh, man, this might go in until, yeah. what, 10 feet away? And then say, oh, wait a minute, what's going to happen here? Yeah, the flag was still in the hole, right? And I think... When I saw that happen, okay, get it close, two putt, go to the next hole, and we'll see what happens, right? But when it, that thing dropped, um, I was at a at a restaurant, and the whole restaurant exploded, right? And you just saw like just oh, what restaurant is this? Uh, I was at King's Taps. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, free shout out to them. Yeah, why are you plugging us, them for? Yeah, they want to send us a gift card or whatever, or you know, give us a free <laughs> table, whatever. But I mean, but yeah, look, it was a great atmosphere. Um, and like you said, James, the fact that you nailed a seventy plus foot putt. To win the tournament, the Canadian Open, the first time in whatever the draw was, 60 something years or whatever it was, right? That, I think, pushed people over the edge to say, oh, this is a great, amazing sports moment. One of the best sports moments in Canadian history. Well, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Even the last couple of years, Canadian women, women winning gold the in Olympics. the Olympics. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. Canada yeah, scoring a goal in the FIFA World Cup. I know that's not like a big thing across the world. Come on, that doesn't, I mean, that's on the list. But that's a list. I'm, not saying it's a, I'm saying just the, recently, in the last year. Okay, qualifying right? for the World Cup. Qualify for the World that's Cup. That's important, yeah. Right? I think there's been so many big moments in Canadian sports that it's recently yeah, let me biased. Let me rattle. It I should, should have put together a board. But let me rattle off. Leafs winning here. a first round because oh, you know what? the Leafs are Canada's Remember that team, day, right? Remember that Leafs day? are Canada's don't, team, right? So that's a big Canadian sport. Don't do it, man. This is Nick Taylor's day, okay? Don't do it, man. I'm just saying the Leafs that are was Canada's a great day. team. Remember right? how we felt? It's pretty yeah. special. Yeah. And, and what happened? Know, and, and remember how we felt after playing the Panthers how next? Like, okay, we lost semifinals. Do you remember how we felt after they lost game one? Yeah. We were venting in here as a therapy session. We're insane. Okay, some top moments. Paul Henderson's 72 Summit Series game winner. Massive. No, before before you say, it, I didn't see it either. Yeah, yeah. No, I saw it. I have I have a I have a box 
DVD set of the Summit series. Yeah, we didn't see it. I've never yeah, watched it's it. Like, it's like Will Champ. Go DVD <laughs> no, play for stuff. No, I don't. I just watched the highlights. Uh, Donovan Bailey winning gold in '96. Oh, that's that might be number one. Joe Carter's home run to go back to back. That's pretty big. Okay. Yeah. I know he's not Canadian, but Canadian sports team. Kawhi Shaw. Uh, Crosby golden goal. Terry Fox. Yeah. I mean, Marathon it, uh, of Hope is that a it's sports a, moment? It's not a think professional it's a sports, sports moment. moment. It's a Canadian heritage yeah. moment, right? right. Like, literally, it's, okay. it's, it's beyond. It's beyond it's sports. Beyond sports. Uh, yeah. uh, Andrescu winning the U.S. Open, mm -hmm. massive. Yeah, like if a Canadian goes on this week and wins the U.S. Open, that's a massive story. That is, yeah. I think that gets on the list, no problem. Uh, George Shavalo goes 15 rounds with Ali. Love it. 1966. Love mm. it. Yeah, that's and he. Had, I was just reading about. It. He had 17 days notice to prepare for that fight. Yeah. I don't think Canadian, that gets talked about enough. Maybe all time, George Shavalo. Right. Uh, Vince dunk contest is that on there? No, you didn't mention called the Kawhi shot at all. I read an article and that was like number three. Okay, well give the author a slap. I don't want to three well, three. It okay, like well three. I get I get the argument because without that dunk contest, the Raptors might not even be in Toronto, right? I Speculation. Know. I don't know. You don't have the Kawhi shot. It's on an there? exhibition. The Kawhi shot in Game Seven. But again, he got to the finals. Okay, then right? winning the winning the NBA championship then. Yeah, okay. uh, huge, but uh, moments though. I know we're, we're forgetting that's some big ones. That's what I was in the Kawhi shot. Like, that's, that's a, sure, it's I'm massive. It's we're, a massive move. I know we're forgetting some big ones. I've talked about Gilmore against St. Louis. <laughs> 94. <laughs> Matt what? Sundin scoring his 500th goal. No, the second, really second round. They didn't win anything. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. You it was pretty special. I think you got to come on with some hardware. Oh, okay, was Gretzky's hat trick in game seven against the Leafs in 93. No, no, because Kerry Fraser was the reason for that. How is that a Canadian? Because Gretzky's a Canadian icon. Look, Gretzky, I think, did 50 and 39, and he scored that in Edmonton. Yeah. That's one. Again, before my time in this country, so I can't really judge that one. Okay. Huge. Before I was born. Yeah. But within this, if, on, in, in this playing field in this country, I'll tell you his one for you. It was in Seoul, 88. Ben Johnson runs 9.79. Um, right. But you got for, for 24 hours. Yeah. For 24 hours, it was the biggest moment, arguably, in Canadian sports history. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. I remember living in England watching that, right? And that was just dominating all the news overseas. Yeah. A Canadian just running sub 9.8. In, in the Olympic final it was incredible and mm -hmm. then of course what almost made it amplified it even was what happened the next 24 hours oh. right and the rumors began the speculation began the press conference it was incredible it really was uh, what about Steve Nash winning back to back MVPs in the NBA again he didn't do anything with it though like, it's a great moment he's a Canadian basketball player very few of them at that time as well that's true uh, Jacques think, Villeneuve think, winning the 90, 1997 uh, F1, F1 World Championship yeah. I still think Julia Grosso with the Olympic gold for Canada and the penalty shootout yeah. that's in 2020 yeah. uh, it's r enormous I got, I've got a list here I'm going through them. Christine Sinclair becomes international soccer's all time leading goal scorer happy birthday Sinky yeah, happy oh there you go happy birthday 40 today. Uh, I shouldn't say the age sorry she doesn't mind when, there's, when it comes to goat talk she literally is, is she might be the goat, goat. Is, yes. she is um I'm just going through this random list here. Jackie Robinson breaks the color barrier with the Montreal Royals. The the yeah, that's kind of like more of a social. Uh, yeah, because it's more important than this. The, the Terry Fox thing, it's bigger than sport. Yeah. The bat flip? No. No. That's a no, Toronto. No, no, it's not bigger. That's a big moment. Is that bigger than this? No. No, because he's Canadian. No, wait, this, is, this Canada. is bigger than that. The, 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 leave the, this is bigger than yeah, that. Yeah. So what? The Blue Jays are the only team in Canada, but that's not a Canadian sports moment. That's a Toronto sports moment. And then there was Wayne Gretzky scoring against the Leafs. What are you talking about? That's, That's Canadian sports. Massive, though. Yeah, right? it was. I mean, it was in, massive. In market, it but was... then nothing happened. But no, there's nothing a, happened. But this, I'm, talking win, a, right? I'm talking about the whole you country, win. though. This is just You're talking about just the Toronto market. Although, although Toronto Blue Jays is really Canada's team. No, because, it's not. No, they don't, I don't care believe in that. Vancouver, I don't, don't believe in that propaganda. The Jays? What do you mean? Who? Okay. Who? So what, they have a Maple Leaf jersey? That doesn't mean you can be a fan of any team you want. The Vancouver Giants? Vancouver Giants. Who's the baseball team? Vancouver no, Canadians. No, Vancouver Canadians. Yeah. Sean, you want to jump in here? Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't have much to add. You guys are hitting. Oh, well, thanks for joining us. No, no, but I, so, <laughs> okay. My <laughs> point, my point is, we have we have like forty five seconds left. Do you guys have a definitive moment here, which like or your definitive moment me, it's, it's in Donovan, this moment? Donovan Bailey. Yeah, I think yeah, for 96. me, I think for me, it, it's Joe Carter. For me, it was so such a big moment in my life at a young mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. For well, me, that, not saying that's the one. Okay, so personally, it's, it's Dougie Gilmore against the Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> for me, it's yes. got to be it's got to be the Crosby goal in 2010. Has to be that. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh, because there's four good uh, yeah. hockey teams in the world, basically, right? No. Oh, well done. Well, it happened. Ooh. It happened in you know my hometown. Please. International hockey's a joke. Man, what the hell? Okay, we well then. There's so much goat talk. Well, I, know, <laughs> I know how much James Sharman loves the goat talk, so we're gonna continue that in the next in the next block. We're talking about Manchester City winning the treble this past weekend. Where does that rank them in terms of the greatest teams of all time? Charms will chime in. Stay tuned.